Hey guys, welcome back. So the airplane builds have been a little slow right now. I've been working on harnesses. We got a few orders in and I got to catch up here. So while I've been doing this, I decided I'd like to show you guys how a harness goes together and give you guys the whole scoop on how they work and what they're all about. As you see, these are all the sub components of a full harness here. And they come off of that board, well, that wire spool holder, I guess. I built this cool little contraption here to measure all my wire. And then we got all our extra parts and everything. And my dad's nice enough to let me commandeer half his shop. So without further ado, let's uh, show you guys how one of these things goes together. Okay, so to this point, we have everything behind the panel done to the back of the aircraft. So that includes autopilot servos, uh, transponder, and a couple other things. I don't wanna get into detail right now. But the last thing I have to do here is put the back shells on all the connectors. Garmin has the best back shells, in my opinion, to all their connectors. They are a nice aluminum housing that strain relieve all the wires, and you couldn't ask for any better quality hardware that they send with all their stuff. So that's a big reason why we chose to go with Garmin. With that being said, I have to do uh, connectors on here, back shells on here. And then up here in the front, I have to get all the rest of the Garmin units hooked up and some power wire. From there, the whole thing gets wrapped up and then goes up to my fixture to put it all to the panel. And I'll show you guys that as well. So we have a full harness finished. Back shells are complete. Most everything's tied off until we get to the front here. But that brings me to a good point of why we did this. Uh, wiring is a really daunting task for a lot of people. I know it was for me and I have a decent amount of experience in wiring things, but it still took me the better part of 200 hours just to learn the system and know exactly what I was gonna do prior to going in and just throwing wire away. So what we've come up with here is a setup that allows you to put the whole aircraft wiring in in less than a day. That includes your wing wiring, all of your Garmin avionics, just plug right in, everything has a spot it bolts up to, and you're done. Right now, we are only supporting the IS motors, so the 912 IS and the 915 IS. In later versions, we will have a harness that supports the ULS motors, so all you guys can retrofit these things. So. Uh, let's go ahead and show you how the panel goes together. So I'm wrapped up for the night. Uh, here we have our transponder plate. This is how they'll come. All the ADL clamps are pre-installed all around it. Transponder tray is here. Safety trim goes here. GPS 20 goes here. And that's how that'll be shipped out. And now we have 
a fixture on the table. As you can see, we have all our wires on there. So now that whole jumbled up mess will get cleaned up and uh, we'll have the finished harness here. All right guys, so that's a harness ready to be shipped out. One thing I'd like to show you is we do have a few options. Uh, PFD is standard, radio is standard. You have an option for the autopilot head and you also have an option for an MFD. And that's a seven inch Garmin display. So if you guys do opt out of any of those options, it's one harness for all the, for everything that you'll get. And the connectors will be back there. So if you ever decide to down the road, plug something in, so they're ready to go. So if you're interested in getting some more information, there'll be a link in the description below to Kit Fox's website. And also they did a video installing one of these. So go ahead and check that out. So thanks for coming along guys. Uh, hopefully next time we'll be building some airplanes. See you later.